I can feel it somewhere inside haunting like a drug. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. Oh, sorry, loud microphone. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff the Gamer Boss, and I am here to talk about winning the winners and losers of Raw Hall. Now I did this before but my my bloody headphone corrupted the whole thing. It's just pure static. Anyhow, that well as past. Let me just start this back one. Yeah, as well as the winners two, and losers one, of Raw Hall. Now, let this no, I'll show you an image of the number of wins I have. See that number and the, the uh, amount of losses I have. See that number. Right? No. It has been apparent to me, it's just been realized that in Bra Hollow, not there are not everybody can be a winner. There are going to be some people in Bra Hollow, like you know, some people in Bra Hollow who are not going to be on. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. It sounds terrible when I say it. Yes, anyhow, there not be not going to be people who are winners. Not everybody's going to be a winner. There's always going to be a, that person or person or people, really, who are going to be in, in their own category. The losing. Now let me put on a theoretical situation. Say I say I fought one person, right? For me and somebody is going to fight. Right? And it's only one game we can play and one game we ever can play. Right? And say I won that game. Right? I will be the winner because I secure a win. I have more wins than I have losses. But the other person who lost and lost is the loser or because he or she did not secure a win and therefore and because not only they didn't secure a win it just has more losses than I have win and let me count up the num add up the number of wins I have to losses you'll get this number. Right now imagine out of this total amount of people right and let's assume that out of everybody here I did you know, everybody here fought, played only one game. That one game was only against me, right? Because, uh, like, you see this person right here, the person I just fought, this replay you just, or you just saw, is because I um, actually made me start um, thinking about it. Because I fought this person two times, this time and another time. Let me just load up that, load up that replay. Okay, there we go, it loaded up. No, I just wasted like a minute trying to load up the next room. Like, like load up replays and wrong. I'll just take some longer. Maybe it's caused so much of them. Do they delete the old replays? Because like every update they say um, they're incompatible, incompatible with a newer version of Raw. Maybe they should delete those since they have no use. Anyhow, let's get back on topic. This person I fought is right now playing as Wow, last time I was playing as Frog. He or she got me thinking about how uh, you know everybody can be a winner because Oh yeah, as was let me, I totally went off, right? I totally forgot what we were talking. Right? As I was saying, right? Say I out of the total uh, wins and losses I have, right? And I, you know, I go against every single one of them. But let's just assume that everybody, all the matches I have to do there, I never fight back the same person twice, right? And nobody else fights anybody other than me, right? So it's just see that that those thousands of people I'm going to fight back, right? And those. People, I win and I lose against. Now, the amount of people I win against are the losers, assuming they're only, not assuming, given that they're, I'm the only person they've played with, right? And the people I've lost to are the winners because I lost them. And 
they've also they've all they've also played with only me, right? And you can clearly see that I um you know oh yeah I'll link this site um, I'll put the the site link in the description. Yes. So yes, people who I've won against are now the losers. People who I've lost against are the winners, right? And there are more winners. You know, there are more losers than there are winners. You know, it also help, helps. With that illustration, it helps with, you know, proving the point of that. Here. Because um, there are more winners. There are more, there are probably more winners than there are losers. But I, actually, I don't know in the whole Brawl people who play Brawl. I'll, I'll show you my total. My total stats right right now. You see level 100 name so Rico Platinum 1. You will also see uh, my ranking. I'm placed in the top 4. I'll just say 4.2. Right now I can't look at it because I'm talking to you while watching the replay. Anyhow, yeah, you'll see my, I'm in the 4.2% of people who play Brawl. All yet I'm in the Still in twenty thousand of heavens for fellow. Yes. Um you can only imagine if it's just twenty eight thousand people making up just you know the four four point two percent of Bra Hollow players. You can only imagine how much people play Bra Hollow. I know I wish there was a way to see how many people have actually played Bra Hollow. Right? And then we can now see and have that, you know, given that information, right? Well, it's safe to assume it's way over 100,000, way over 200,000, right? So, um. Oh, um, hi everyone, I'm Jed the Gamer Boss, editing right now. I just realized that, um, I'm also gonna cut out the audio from the rest of the video except for the um, background music yes anyhow it turns out that the number of people who won compared to the people who have lost are far different than I thought because I fail to factor in modes like free for all where there only can be one winner right so therefore the total number of people who have lost it probably is astronomically high eh, compared to people who have won. Um, oh, yeah, it's just a short explanation because um, when I when I actually did think about it, I did think about other game modes and I noticed that only free for all. Well, not only free for all game, free for all. Not like free for all games. Get other modes like um in B. B O T W or uh, Battle of the Week. There's the there's the um ghost mode where three people play and one disap and they all disappear when they're not attacking or like dodging or anything or throwing weapons. Yeah, in those modes, right? Where there's like three people, one can only win. There, that's why there's a tiebreaker, but nobody wins. If the tiebreaker happens more than two times, if somebody was just sitting around and do nothing while the time breaker timer runs out, nobody wins, and therefore there could never be more people who have won compared to people who have lost. Anyhow, thank you all for um, watching the video. Please like and subscribe, and please share this video to have people. Uh, know about this you know this this problem